Jason Robertson has exploded onto the scene since making his NHL debut. The Dallas Stars forward came up just short of Kirill Kaprizov for the Calder Trophy in his first NHL season. In his sophomore year, he scored 41 goals and produced it above a point per game, and yet, he was still often overlooked. This year, Robertson is finally beginning to get the recognition that he deserves. He's playing the best hockey of his career right now, and is fighting for both the goal-scoring and point-scoring titles. Today we look at Jason Robertson, examine his incredible start, and project where he'll stand by the end of this season. Before we get into it, I want to thank today's sponsor. Betstamp is a free sports betting resource that allows bettors to maximize their odds. Line shopping with Betstamp allows you to find the best deals for bets. Bettors can view the major sports books available and ensure that they're playing at the ones with the best odds. Betstamp also offers verified bet tracking. Their verification ensures that neither you nor anyone else can lie about their bets, allowing you to tail other users' picks, buy others' picks, or even sell your own betting picks royalty free. Betstamp is completely free to use. Sign up with the link in the description to maximize your betting odds. The Dallas Stars are a very talented team. Young stars Miro Heiskanen and Jake Ottinger have developed into elite talents, while veterans Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan have rebounded to produce great years thus far. The focal point of this team now, though, is Jason Robertson. Robertson is 10 points clear of second place Dallas scorer Jamie Benn, and 8 goals clear of second places Benn and Joe Pavelski. Robertson currently sits well in the lead of Dallas Stars scoring, and among the league's very best. Robertson has 19 goals and 36 total points in 23 games. This places him first in league goal scoring and second in total points scored. Robertson is ahead of acknowledged superstars such as Sidney Crosby, Nathan McKinnon, and Leon Dreisaitl in both goals scored and total points, making him indisputably one of the league's best offensive players for this season. At his 1.57 points per game rate of production, Jason Robertson would finish an 82-game season with 129 points, placing him first all-time in Dallas Stars' regular season scoring by a wide margin, and giving him the most points since the team was the Minnesota North Stars. This is despite barely even being treated as an elite talent. Robertson is on the Stars' top line, alongside Rupe Hintz and Joe Pavelski but he gets much less ice time than other elite stars around the league. Connor McDavid averages above 22 minutes a night. David Pasternak averages about 20 minutes a night. Jason Robertson averages only about 17.30. Three to four minutes may not sound like a huge difference, but over a full season, that's a drastic gap in shifts and time spent on the ice between Robertson and his peers. Robertson does still get the most minutes of any forward on the Dallas Stars. Head coach Peter DeBoer seems to like to run his lines more evenly than many other coaches do. There's nothing wrong with a coach running a system in which ice time is far more balanced for all four lines on the team. After all, it seems to be working just fine for the Stars. It just makes the fact that Robertson averages the same or better scoring numbers than all of the league's best all the more impressive. Given that we know Robertson is producing at incredible rates, and doing so on minimal ice time, why is he not being talked about as one of the best players in the NHL? Throughout all three seasons of his NHL career thus far, Jason Robertson has performed above and beyond expectations. In his rookie year, Robertson was coming in to make his NHL debut as a second-round pick expected to play middle six minutes. By the end of the season, he was already one of Dallas's best players and finished as a close second in the Calder Trophy voting to Kirill Kaprizov. In his sophomore season, Robertson had his first 40-goal season, scoring 41 times and producing above a point per game. It isn't unnatural to expect then that this season he would progress further to becoming the 100-point 50-goal threat that he now seems to be. Jason Robertson has the stats and influence on his team of a top 10 or even top 5 player in the NHL, so why has it taken so long for him to get his proper recognition? For one, Robertson isn't nearly as flashy as almost every other player that scores as much as he does. 
he's competing for scoring titles up against players like Connor McDavid, Nikita Kucherov, and David Pasternak, all of whom have a lot more highlight reel plays throughout their careers. It's much easier to notice superstar talent when it's as obvious as Connor McDavid cutting through an entire team to score, or Nikita Kucherov popularizing his own flashy shootout move. To be as effective and efficient as Jason Robertson is much less appealing to the casual fan, but just as impressive. Robertson simply isn't noticeable in the way that many other superstars are, and thus, he doesn't generate enough buzz to get the credit that he deserves. Robertson has also been overshadowed by other players throughout his first two NHL seasons. In his rookie year, he only had six less points than Kirill Kaprizov. Yet all the hype surrounded Kaprizov as his on-ice creativity and heavy influence on Minnesota's success was much more captivating to the general NHL fanbase. In the year afterwards, Robertson was fantastic. He was the Dallas Stars' second top scorer and joint 13th in the NHL in goals. But the biggest narrative coming out of the 2021-22 season for the Dallas Stars wasn't about Robertson. It was about Jake Ottinger, whose unbelievable playoff performances allowed the Dallas Stars to nearly steal their seven-game playoff series against the Calgary Flames. In both years, Robertson was incredible. People just weren't paying attention. Jason Robertson is on track to have one of the best seasons in recent NHL history, and likely the best in Dallas Stars franchise history. He's on pace to score 68 goals and 129 points, and deserves to be talked about as one of the league's very best. Robertson has been incredibly effective since entering the NHL in 2019-20, and has only gotten better year after year. Jason Robertson should not only be talked about as a legitimate superstar, but as of this moment, he should be the frontrunner to win the Hart Trophy.